Welcome back to another episode of the Fair Sports Update. Standing in for Rob Bentley this week, I'm your host, Harrison Watt. In the Fair Sports Update, we're talking Bulldog basketball and hockey, but first we're joined by the head coach of Fair State Football, Tony Anise, national champions again this year. National signing day now in the rearview mirror, and just a tiny bit of a break here between now and spring ball. Coach, first of all, congratulations on another great recruiting class. Thank you. Happy to have it behind us, and uh, now I can try to get my, bat, my body in shape here and play a little pickleball and lift some weights and get ready for spring ball. Yeah, as you take a look back at National Sign, the last few years they've, they've been smaller classes. There's some uncertainty with guys taking their COVID year and guys that could be seventh year seniors. Do you feel like this was the year to go out and go back to maybe like a 35 plus man class? We just wanted more skill. Um, we've, uh, we've had great skill players, don't get me wrong, but you know what happened to our receiver this year. So uh, we're down to literally, uh, you know, the, the guys that played, you know, and, and they played great. Desmond Libertus and Cam Underwood were exceptional at the end of the season. But, uh, I mean, I, I don't know who we were rolling in after that. And so uh, we just tried to build our depth at receiver and defensive backs. You know, we, we always feel like, um, you know, we got great depth going into the season. And then, you know, there's just the wear and the tear of the guys that, have to run all over the place at practice, and and uh, you get injuries, and so we're just uh, trying to boost our depth at those two positions particularly. You take a look uh, at your offensive line, the group that was really young this year, but you get a lot of them back. That's I have to imagine a big plus for you having a team that won a national title, and now they get to develop another year and continue to go forward. How excited are you about that group in particular? Well, that was this this past year was the year where. You know, you had growing pains, and uh, I know that seems weird, being 14 and one and winning, uh, winning a national title. But it was growing pains, serious growing pains with our offensive line. Uh, Coach Parker just hung in there with them and kept on trying to grow them. And towards the end, I don't think you would have known um, that that was a you know a pretty young group, but. Uh, we were able to, you know, just keep on fighting, and, and so I'm looking forward to next year now. You know, we only lost two of those guys, and uh, we played a, 10 of them, um, probably more than 10, actually. So, so we got a lot of experience coming back now with those guys uh, kind of, you know, the, the growing pains in the, in the back door. So we talk about the national championship. Nice to have this trophy back in here again this year. How much do you feel like that impacted your recruiting? I know year over year you talk about your long playoff runs. They can hurt how much time you have to recruit. But how much does the hardware help your profile when you have the limited time with these guys? Well, it helps for uh, people who want to be with a winning, winning program. Uh, so, you know, obviously going to Florida, which is our second spot to go to. We go to Michigan first and Florida second. Um, you know, you, you go down and show them big shiny rings and national championship trophies and uh you know brag about that plus you brag about you know the nfl players and you know while we were down there you know zach sealer scored a touchdown for the for the dolphins against the bills and so you brag about those things so it helps out of state in state i don't know if it helps all that much uh you got some young people that are looking to to have a easier chance of playing if that makes sense or you know because of the portal and young you know high school seniors being afraid that they're going to be left out a lot of early commits this year and so we left we got kind of beat out on that because we were still playing but but uh it's a good recruiting class so um just keep on you know growing when we get here regardless and our player development second to none one of national champions, Caleb Murphy, playing in the East-West Bowl this past week. Got to see him. He had a sack. That was pretty exciting. Uh, a guy that's really climbing up the, a lot of people's NFL draft boards. How, how much does a guy like that when, you know, you do have a lot of NFL guys, but you can show recruits we still have more on the way? Yeah, I, I you know, he's in the combine, um, which is cool. You know, he's going to get drafted. Um, pretty certain of that. It'll be the second, you know, Zach was – Drafted second player drafted in, in Ferris State history, which is pretty cool. And we're, yeah, we got more good ones, um, you know, both that had left and are going to be training for the NFL and guys on our team currently that have good chance of being 
in the NFL. So it's just the way it is, man. It's uh, pretty cool to see our culture such that our guys are just trying to be the best they can be. And, and I always just say, you know, we're going to have that dream alive here, you know. Um, I want you to have a career out of the NFL. I want you to have a degree. I want you to have success, uh, you know, um, if you're not an NFL player. But we want to keep that dream alive for our guys. Look at this year's recruiting class, and you always say, I don't want to get, you know, Division II recruits. I want to get D1 misses. And a lot of those D1 misses are guys that have ended up in the NFL. So when you look at this year's crop of some of those D1 misses, do you see guys that have some of the physical tools to, to grow into that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we've got a lot of skill uh, and a lot of speed. Like our speed, this class is probably the fastest class we've ever had. Um, you know, if we put, put them in a – in a four by one, they would be, um, you know, just lights out fast. And so uh, everybody knows I'm a little obsessed with speed. Um, we played smaller uh, personnel um, and use speed and space. And so, um, yeah, we're going to have some guys that really have a chance to flourish here. And uh, I was actually just going through uh, our class a year ago, and I was grading them based upon – who is going to be superstars, who's going to be, you know, players, who's not going to be players. And, uh, you know, it, it reflects very positively, and that's our true freshmen. Our redshirt freshmen this past season, they were lights out. I mean, lights out. Uh, the Brady Rose, Carson Galker, Plamondon class. Uh, you know, I just mentioned three, but there's a lot of them. De you know, Deion Small is a superstar. So there's a lot of great players in that class. And, uh so, you know, the future is really bright. One of my favorite things about your teams is that you're not afraid to go get guys that are like 5'7 and under. And you always say that their feet hit in the same place. But everyone recruiting-wise seems to have that profile. I want a receiver that's 6'4 in a red zone target and all that fun stuff. When you get these guys, do you find they have a significant chip on their shoulder because of the way they've been looked at by others? Well, just look at, you know, Justin Payout, who's another redshirt freshman that I didn't mention, but – Look at his chip on his shoulder. He just is a football player. I mean, nobody could have watched number 11 play this year and thought, oh, you know, he's too short to play. You just, as the game's going on, maybe before the game, maybe him standing next to me and him about here on me and my arms around him, maybe you're like, man, that guy's too small to be a college football player. But during that game, nobody's going to say he's too small because he, he's, he's a dog. He's a playmaker. And so – um, you know, we've just been that way. Same with Brady Rose. You know, he stands a couple inches shorter than me, but we've had some great ones. Uh, Deion Earls was extraordinarily great here and a very short guy. So it's just the way we recruit. It's the way uh, we're just looking for playmakers and guys that can just do great things, things on the field. We're not going to judge them with a negative grade if they're doing great things on the field. Coach, thanks so much for joining me. Congrats on the national championship and another great recruiting season. Thank you. Appreciate it. When we come back, we're talking Bulldog basketball next in the Ferris Sports Update.